Right, let's read this question carefully. It says, use a ruler and compasses to construct the perpendicular bisector of line AB. Right, so there's line AB, and we need a perpendicular bisector of this line. We're going to bisect the line, okay? And then label the point C where A and B and the perpendicular that we're going to draw uh, intersect. In other words, where they meet. Now, when we're drawing a or dropping a perpendicular bisector, remember, we're going to measure from A and B. Okay? Now, my advice is that you take your measurement more than halfway. Otherwise, if it's there and you had to draw your notches, which are necessary, from there and from there, they really never, ever going to meet, are they? Right, so going back to what we said, just over half or more than half doesn't matter. Right, so from A, okay, let's draw. There we go. And another one there. I could just have gone on there. And then obviously from A again, put the sharp point in there very accurately. And there we go. Now, in pencil, not in pen, where they, that arc, those two arcs meet, and where those two arcs meet, we're going to join the line now. Okay? And then just draw a line straight through. Okay? Now, label point C where A and B and the perpendicular intersect. Right, so we're going to name that C because that's where they meet, the two lines. Now, what's the next instruction? It says, use your compasses or set of compasses, okay, this, to draw the circle with center C which passes through A. So the center of the circle, remember that's the radius then, that will be the diameter. Okay, it must pass, the circle must pass through A. So from C to A, that should be quite simple. Okay, it's got to pass through A. So again, holding this properly, let's go. And we draw a circle as accurately as possible. There we go. Now we've drawn the circle. What is the next instruction? Now, use a ruler to draw a straight line from A to any point on the circumference of the circle. So on to any point. Doesn't matter where you draw it, okay? On the circumference of the circle, and then label this point D. Okay? So why don't we just do this? Any point. We could have taken it there, there, anywhere. Let's just take it over there. Okay, let just be accurate about this. From a any point, okay, and label it D, okay, and then use the ruler to join D to B, okay, joining D to B, nice and accurately, and you will notice that that is a 90 degree angle. So let's see, what have we done so far? We've dropped a perpendicular, we've bisected line AB, okay, and where they met, the perpendicular line, that was C. Then we had to draw a circle with the center C, C being the center of the circle, okay, so that would be the radius. Took your set of compasses, put it on a C, and you drew a nice neat circle. Then using a ruler, drawing a straight line from point A to any point. Doesn't matter. I could have gone from A to that side. Didn't matter. To the point on the circumference of the circle and then label that point D. And then using a ruler, join D to B.